to my channel. I am on video number three of our homeschool spaces tour um, and today I am going to be sharing with you my boys room. I use both of my kids rooms um, quite often to complete homeschool work or to reinforce certain things that we're learning and there is just a few little elements that I included in each of their rooms to just extend the spaces that they learn and just have little areas where they can always be reminded of the things that we're learning throughout the days. So this is my boys room. I love my kids rooms so much and the thing that I love the most about them is that so many things inside of their room are reminders of the love that surrounds us. The majority of the things that are inside of their rooms are gifted from friends and family. This super, super large Lego stash that I love to hate and hate to love <laughs> was gifted to us from someone in our church. It was such a blessing. In between their beds, they have a nightstand that was actually gifted to us as well from someone else in our church. One of my favorite parts of their rooms is their little uh, bedside lights. Is that what it's called? In fact, I thought that would be the perfect incentive for bedtime reading um, and inside of their night table holds all of their books. The boys wanted a superhero themed room and I was super excited to make it fit both them and me, of course. I didn't want it to be too obnoxious, but I love the idea of a superhero and we always talk about how Jesus is like the ultimate superhero and we love it. This little storage box came from my mother and it was the perfect spot to hold all of their drawings and other little things that definitely need to have a place. <laughs> These adorable little shark slippers came just in time for our shark unit and they were gifted to us by another a member of our church who happens to have become our family and I love seeing little reminders of the love that surrounds us all over our kids rooms. So this is their bedroom book stand or night table whatever you want to call it included in it is supposed to be a rack of books right now um they just have a few up at the top their action bible from their aunt and uncle for christmas and even their fire tablets were gifted from their great aunt for a christmas present as well so blessed their cork wall is perfect to be able to hang any of their work from the day that they just get to look at what they've done and a constant reminder of what we are studying. The kids are allowed to bring any of their work into their bedrooms at any time during the day. Sometimes we just need to kind of separate from one another so we could have some space to breathe. Sometimes we all come into one of their rooms and do our work together. The kids wanted to help me out as they saw that I was doing a room tour. They had a special little notebook for all of their chapter book writings that they do at night when they're supposed to be in bed. But that was why I wanted to kind of create a space for them to be able Able to write and read and look at a lot of the things that we have been studying throughout the weeks. I, I just thought it was a great idea to take advantage of the space that they have in their rooms. absolute favorite thing about their room is their own little chalk wall. The chalk wall is great. It's a great way for them to be interactive and I love to see um, the things that they add to the wall in addition to the things that their dad adds to the wall. So a lot of times he'll put scriptures up on the wall or we'll put problems that we've been working on, math problems, information that we need, a little extra studying. It's just overall a wonderful thing, this little chalk wall of theirs. And also while filming this video, I noticed the shadow that is casted on the chalk wall. Our body unit is coming up and wouldn't it just be perfect for them to outline their shadows and label the parts? I'll keep you posted on how that goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video.